what if he dies and I never got to say goodbye. Wow. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another English Bulldog video. Um, I don't know if you can see, Walter is currently wearing a cone and if I gently lift up his paw, he had surgery. Um, this happened about two days ago and to make a long story short, he had to end up having one of his, possibly, was there one nail or two removed? He had to have one nail completely taken out of his paw. He required surgery. Um, I, there's possibly something wrong with the other nail. We actually won't know until today at 6 p.m. when we go in and they're going to remove all these bandages and kind of take a look. Um, complete accident. It actually, it was obviously no one's fault. Probably not even his. His nail got stuck. He is regularly groomed. He gets a regular nail trim and his nail probably got stuck in something and pulled it away and it completely like pulled it almost all the way out. I don't know. It's kind of a mess of a situation. I don't fully know all the details because I wasn't there when it happened, but that's okay. He's okay. He's resting. He's really drugged up. He's taking antibiotics and heavy pain medicine. Apparently this is the one, one of the most painful things uh, surgeries and situations for a dog to go through, um, having a nail removed. So it's been an interesting weekend to say the least. So what inspired this video was joking around at the vet office that this is like, it's like Walter's second home. And it's kind of been true. And so today what I wanted to share with you is the English Bulldog health issues. Now I know that him having a nail removed is not specifically a health issue, but what comes along with having a surgery and other situations definitely are and it's kind of all tied together. It's so loud outside. If you're thinking about getting an English Bulldog, I highly recommend you do your research before. They are wonderful, loving, cuddly pets as you can see and in almost all of my videos Walter just like loves to sit in our laps and be cuddled and loved. They are wonderful pets but they come with a lot of possible and potential health issues. Now, they're a very sensitive breed, and it doesn't mean that all of the health issues will happen. It's just something to be aware of. So today I wanted to walk you through some of the issues that Walter has had and how we've dealt with them and things to consider if you're going to be getting a bulldog and even if you have one. English Bulldogs are known to get something called cherry eye and it's basically the inner corner of their eye kind of pops out like around their tear duct and it literally just looks like their tear duct has become a little cherry and popped out of their eye. Walter had to have the cherry eye surgery done on both his eyes within his first year of his life. We knew that that was something that would more than likely happen and it did. One other thing I want to say before I really get into all of this is we do have insurance through a company called Happy Paws. I will link it down below. They have been amazing. They cover all of our issues up to 80% and it has been a lifesaver because we have just like, as you will hear, we have used it and we have needed it and I am so thankful for it. English Bulldogs are also known to have very sensitive stomachs and this is something that we still deal with on a regular and he was only about six months old 
and one day he was looking at Andrew and Andrew told me I think something is wrong like I think he's trying to tell me something and sure enough all of the sudden he started projectile vomiting all over our apartment Andrew picked him up and he did it all over the wall we were trying to get him outside and it turned out he had a stomach virus he had contracted a stomach virus Andrew's convinced it was from a dirty puddle that he drank from we don't know the doctors didn't know but he got a stomach virus so they have very sensitive stomachs to this day Walter throws up maybe like once or twice twice a month maybe three times and that is usually due to something that he's eaten that has irritated his stomach like a toy typically a toy like pieces of plastic pieces of a ball he'll ingest and he will throw it up usually at like three or four in the morning so we have cherry eye we have sensitive stomachs the next thing that Walter contracted I don't specifically know if this is a bulldog thing I tried to look this up and I couldn't find any correlation, but Walter actually had bronchitis, which I had never heard of a dog having, and that was awful. He had a terrible cough, it sounded all rattly, and it was very concerning. He was also less than a year old, and it was cold. I don't exactly know how it happened, but he did get bronchitis. Again, another thing to treat, another reason why we were thankful for happy paws, but again, it just really shows how sensitive of a breed that English Bulldogs are. Within the first year of Walter's life, as he started to kind of bulk up and look like a traditional Bulldog, we noticed that in the morning when he would wake up and we would take him out for a walk, he would have a very bad limp. And some days it would be worse than others after uh, playing and it would go away by the end of the day it was almost like it took a while for his leg to kind of warm up and we never really noticed until he had been playing with we had some people over and they were playing and they were kind of playing with his leg and he stayed up all night sitting in the same position it was such a strange thing he couldn't move he seemed in pain and we took him to the vet first thing that morning and they basically diagnosed him with having a luxating patella and basically what that was is that his kneecap wouldn't stay in place and what was causing it really was the weight of his body was causing the patella to pop out of its spot so when we moved uh, we had taken him to a different vet and they suggested looking into the surgery. So I even went as far as going to the surgeon's office having a pre-op appointment and they said, oh, we'll schedule it like maybe four months away. But until then, excuse the snoring, uh, they wanted him to lose about 10 pounds. At this time, Walter was 70 pounds and he was really looking like a bulldog. I know that there's a lot of people on my comments and on my channel that think he's a mix or whatever he is an English Bulldog he did look more like a traditional Bulldog anyways on our mission to get him in shape for the surgery he ended up losing 20 pounds and he no longer had any leg issues he was able to run and jump and no issues they re-examined the leg and they said no problem, no luck staying patella. It's been staying in place and he hasn't had any issues ever since. We've kept him around 50 to 55 pounds. He's a little bit on the heavier side right now than he usually is, but that's due to the winter months and the rain. He does not like to go outside in the rain or the snow. Some other things you have to understand when you're getting a English Bulldog and something that we actually haven't had to deal with is that they have a lot of respiratory issues. Um, they typically have trouble breathing because their nasal passages will be really small and their face, the way that it is built, is very difficult for them to breathe. Thankfully Walter has apparently like very large nasal canals or whatever he'll still snore depending on his position uh, but he doesn't have any issues breathing that doesn't mean he's like a normal dog he's just better than most English Bulldogs so 
when he um, has had surgery, or when he had surgery, well, he's had a few, and he's also had to go under for a stomach pump because he ate a lot of chocolate. It's always concerning because there is a chance that they will have an issue breathing and they might not wake up and sedation is very hard for an English Bulldog. So when we got the call that he needed surgery, I was immediately panicked because I get scared what if he dies and I never got to say goodbye and things like that. So specifically for this incident with his paw, um, he had surgery, we brought him home, he was showing signs of having trouble breathing. He was having really shallow breaths. It almost sounded like he was having an asthma attack and he would be like, <gasps> and that scared us. And so we had to take him back and it was just awful. Another thing that a lot of people suggest with like say eating chocolate is hydrogen peroxide is something that people use to induce vomiting for dogs when they eat something that they shouldn't but you can't do that with an English Bulldog because they have a, a, they're at high risk of choking on their own vomit because of their face and their structure so there are a lot of things that you have to be careful of when getting an English Bulldog they are so worth it I love Walter I would do it all over again um, I don't have any regrets. Going into buying him, we knew that there were a lot of health risks. So these are all things that you should do. I would consider you know, t getting insurance, talking to a vet about some of the pros and cons. I mean, they're wonderful dogs. Like They are so loving. Walter is like the most loving and cuddly dog that I could ever ask for. He's so wonderful and he's like literally my best friend. I hope that this is helpful for all you English Bulldog lovers and potential owners, already owners. We love him. Um, I feel really bad for him. He can't really walk. He's limping. It's really difficult. It's really sad. He's taking it like a champ. And he does have a really high pain tolerance, so I think that that's helping with things. Again, do your research. They are so worth it, and it's just great to know what you're getting into. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again for another video. Bye.